tonight to talk about something. I, uh, I want to talk about one of our staff members here at Late Night. Uh, you may know him if you've watched the show before. This guy has become somewhat of a fixture on the Late Night program. I'm talking about one of our show's graphic artists, Pierre Bernard. There's a picture of Pierre. <laughs> That was real applause for Pierre, wasn't it? Right? It's real natural applause for Pierre. Uh, <laughs> not motivated by any sign. <laughs> we don't have a sign. <laughs> Why would we need a sign? The show's amusing all on its own. <laughs> what the hell am I doing? Anywhere, Pierre Bernard, uh, he's best known for his popular long-running segment on the show, Pierre Bernard's Recliner of Rage, uh, <laughs> and, and for his obsession with the sci-fi adventure show Stargate SG-1. <laughs> so he's been on the show many times. Uh, well, this is a true, honest-to-God true story. I swear to you, a few weeks ago, uh, we got the idea to shoot a remote segment at Pierre's house uh, because he keeps a world-class collection of action figures and collectibles uh, in his home. And we had this idea that we wanted to go there. And I swear, all we wanted to do was visit Pierre at his home and shoot some video. And for the first time in history, Pierre said no. That's right. He said, absolutely not. No one gets inside my house. That's what he said. I tell you, folks, his reaction sent a chill up my spine. Something just didn't feel right. I got, it was, felt weird. So I decided I had to sit down and talk with Pierre to find out what was really going on. So what you're about to see is completely unscripted and unrehearsed. <laughs> this is what I did. I called Pierre in his office, and I told him I wanted to speak to him. Pierre had no idea what I was going to ask him or even why I wanted to talk to him. He had no idea that we had cameras there. And he walked in the room. I said, please have a seat. And this is what happened. Folks, if you have children in the room, you might want to ask them to leave. If they're up now, you're bad parents anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> keep them around. Uh, here now is an unflinching look at the real Pierre Bernard. How long have you worked at Late Night? 15 years. 15 years you've worked for the show. Yes. In that time, you've appeared on camera countless times. Yes. You have worn silly costumes. Fire! Fire! There's hardly anything you've ever refused. Yeah, I've even worn a diaper. About a month ago, our writers came up with a very funny remote, because you often talk about your collectibles, right. of going to your house and having you show us your collectibles and your collections and show us around your house. Everyone thought this was a fantastic idea. We were very excited. We approached you with the idea, and you said... No. You've worn a diaper, you've worn a dress, you've done everything, and suddenly you were saying no. You said no, no cameras allowed inside my right. house. I begged you. As a friend and as your employer, please let me come and shoot a remote in your house. And I said clearly, no. He said no. There could be only one explanation. Pierre Bernard is a serial killer. <laughs> you lived in Brooklyn for how many years? 30 years. 30 years. But you moved away from the city. Correct. Why? I needed peace and quiet. It's quieter. Quieter. Very Consequently, noise you make in your house wouldn't be heard by others. Is that fair to say? Uh, it's safe to say. You Though like my neighbors that. have complaint, they claim they heard noise. Your neighbors claim they heard an unusual noise coming from your house. What did they hear? Like a vibration. A vibration like an electric saw being operated. Or maybe a bass. Do you play the bass? No. Is it true that you enjoy drawing erotic portraits of women. Yes. You enjoy uh, drawing women with large breasts, don't you? Yes. You enjoy drawing breasts? Yes. Small breasts anger you. <laughs> infuriate you. How did you feel when Jeffrey Dahmer passed away? I, I felt indifference, because I knew eventually there will be another insane person to replace him.
I've never been more alive than when I'm killing. You said that three years ago in a job interview. What job interview? I have oh, an that's interview the part for you take job? exception with. That's the part. That was a made-up <laughs> quote, Pierre. I just made up that quote to test you. Right. I said, and I've I said, never said... been more alive than when I'm killing. You said in a job interview, and you took exception to the fact that it was a job interview. Right, because I haven't interviewed for a job since I've been here. Care to take exception to the fact that I called you a killer, a murderer? <laughs> I'd like you to hold this for me. Just hold it. All right, should I? Just pee out. I'm very paranoid. Hold it. You seem very comfortable holding that. You knew to grip, grip it. Right. Well, uh, at the bottom well, and halfway up. Well, where else would I have gripped it? Does this look familiar to you? If you hold it for I forgot the, the medical name, but it's the bone that connects the thigh to the knee. Do you mind if I take this back? No, please. She deserves a burial. <laughs> Close your eyes, please. Let's take a second. Okay, put your glasses back on. Would it be okay if I came to your house, went into the basement, and tore up the floor with jackhammers? <laughs> Seem pretty nervous. But just so we have it for editing, can you just say, I'm Pierre Bernard, and I'm one of the greatest, most prolific serial killers of the 21st century? Could you just say that for me? I'm Pierre Bernard, and I'm one of the greatest, fantastic serial killers of the 20th century. That's funny, you changed prolific to fantastic. <laughs> Why? Because I haven't been killing for a long time. 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 Murderer. You want to kill me, don't you? No. Chop off my fat, laughing Irish head. Stuff it with sour cream. Would you like this interview to end? No. Uh, if you'd like the interview to end, just say, I want this to be over now, and unclip your mic and walk out. No, you could ask all the questions you want. I have a feeling if I get up and go... Get up now and walk out or you're fired. <laughs> all right, I'm done. Pl I guess he ran. He bolted the interview. <laughs> Join. Join. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Pierre Bernard. We'll take a break when we come back. Chris Rock is here. Stick around.